Now we are going to look at more details about first order logic. First we will discuss few supporting definitions. Then we will discuss uh, insight on the semantics of uh, first order logic. And then we will see how to define substitution properly in the case of first order logic. Okay. So let's look at some supporting definitions first. Okay. So if we have a chain of same quantifiers, then we don't need to write the quantifiers again and again. For example, if I write for all x, uh, for all y, uh, or something like this, so in this chain looks very uh, not much informative. So we what we can do, we can simply write for x, y, and so on. For example, this formula uh, for all z, x, there exist y means that then you have one quantifier first over z and then quantifier over x and there exist one this can be easily proven from the semantics of uh, first order logic that the order of same quantifier doesn't matter it could have been written x here and z here it means the same mean similarly you can put together the exist quantifier also Now let us define what are subterms and subformulas. Okay, so, so what is a subterm? For a term, it is, another term is subterm that is occur as a substring of that term. Okay. For example, uh, if you have fx and is it a subterm of this uh, term? Because yes, fx occurs here, therefore it's a subterm. Is c subterm of c? Yes, c occurs inside c, so therefore it's a subterm. So equality also is a subterm. Uh, x is a subterm of f of x. You can easily see that. Similarly, we define this uh, a formula is a sub formula okay, of another formula f prime if f is a substring of f prime. Okay? So, uh, and not any substring, substring of a formula is a sub formula. The, the, the substring has to be a formula on itself. So, for, for example, here this uh, formula is sub formula of this one. Now con let's continue and define something called closed terms. What is a closed term? If there is a term which does not have any variable then you call it closed term. These are very important terms. Uh, this allow you to somehow in proxy describe about, about elements of the domain. Sometimes closed terms are also called ground terms. This term you will see very often occurring in literature so please understand remember that the ground terms and closed terms are synonymous so let's suppose you have a, a signature in which uh, f is a function and c is a constant then f of x is not a uh, closed term but f of c is a closed term for a formula f is quantifier free if there is no quantifier in f these are another very important class of formulas. Uh, HC is a quantifier-free formula. For all x, hx is not a quantifier-free formula because it has a quantifier. Now let's define another definition which is called free variables. A variable is free in formula F if the following conditions meet. Yeah, if formula is an atomic formula, it belongs to the ASZ. Then x, if an x occurs in F, then you say x is occurring free. If x does not occur in that formula, atomic formula, then you say x is not free here. Again, you can simply uh, extend this definition for Boolean operations. So if you x is free in some formulas, then you combine them and uh, do the Boolean operation, then x remains free if it occurs free in any of them. Yeah. The important trick is in quantifiers when some variable gets quantified. Okay, and if it was free inside G, then it becomes not free. Okay, so how do we say that? If x is free in G. And x is not equals to y. Okay, you, y is not the variable which you are worried about. Then you say it is free, still free. And let f v f denote the set of free variables occurring in the formula f. Let's look at a definition of sentence. Before understanding the definition of sentence, let's understand a the definition of scope. Okay, if I give you a formula like this, yes, then we say. Uh, 
the there exists x has a scope g this quantification has scope until this end of this uh, formula and it bounds this variable x okay similarly we have a definition for the exist and for all both a formula f is a sentence if it has no free variable okay? 